Hey, what's up everybody? It's Justin Ryan here, and I've got an exciting video to share with all of you that features this brand new app for Vision Pro. It's called Splat Studio. But before we dive in, I need to give you a little bit of background as to why this app exists. You've probably seen a lot of videos going viral online lately that feature Apple's new ML Sharp model that takes a single 2D image and turns it into a 3D Gaussian splat. It's great that it runs locally on device and it processes these within seconds. However, there are a couple big challenges here. One, not everyone has a Mac or computer to run the model, or two, not everybody knows how to go to GitHub and install the model on their device. They would prefer to have an app on their Vision Pro that could do this all for them. And that gets to the exciting part, which is this app right here, Splat Studio, as it runs the ML Sharp model on your Vision Pro. So you can take a 2D image and recreate it to a 3D Gaussian splat within seconds and then view that 3D splat. It's all done here. No computer, nothing else needed. And the app is free. To show you this app, I'm gonna take you downstairs here in the hotel in Las Vegas, and we're gonna pull up these 3D Gaussian splats. We'll also take some photos while we're down there and turn those photos into 3D Gaussian splats all on the Vision Pro, all in this video. If that sounds great to you, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. For those that might be new here, I create a ton of videos like this featuring the greatest apps for Vision Pro, and we talk about all the great updates for Vision OS, as well as all things spatial computing. Now we're at the fun part because we're gonna take this app downstairs to the lobby and open up those 3D Gaussian splats. Let's go. Wait, before we go, we need to grab our hotel key. That's important, which is right here. There's the beautiful Las Vegas. You got the Encore and the Win. The Strip is all right there. All right, let's go downstairs. Grab that little bar at the bottom. It tracks with you very well. I can grab it and pull it closer to me or move my arm forward and push it down the hall. And you can see the shadow right there on the ground as well. well let's go down. All right, we've made it down here to the first floor. So many people see me and they don't know that I can see them back. I think I'll make a t-shirt that says, I can see you. Let's see if we can find a spot that doesn't have the background music playing. All right, I think we'll go outside. Turns out there's music everywhere. So we will actually open up the splats here, down underneath the Hilton and the Conrad. All right, so here is the main window for Splat Studio, and look at this. I can take an image, like let's do this one with MKBHD. Now this was all created on the Vision Pro with a single image. And the photo was taken as a selfie right about there. And you can see that in the image right here. This is all recreated in 3D. I can move this, I can move forward into it. Something I love about the ML Sharp model is how everything is life size. For me, I see so much more in the background in these selfies than I ever noticed before. Because look at this. This was the photo, and it turns it into this. All right, let's do another one for you. Let's do this one. This is a photo I took of some food from date night the other night with my wife. So ML Sharp is taking that 2D image and it's inferring the depth, everything, off of just what that image looks like. It's so impressive. I'm gonna start this image right here. It has now started to make that splat. And while that's going, let me show you another one. This is just outside of San Diego. Look at this. Just look at the texture of the water here and the sand and the rocks. All right, now I have not opened this one up yet, so you're gonna see it for the first time when I see it. Many of you will recognize this location. Of course, it's the bowl down on Wall Street, and the image was taken at about that angle right there. You've got all of the depth of the people standing in line to get their photo with the bowl. It just goes on and on and on. From the side, it looks a little strange, but still so impressive. You can imagine where this technology is gonna go in another six to 12 to 18 months. All right, let's select another one. Look at this. If a photo is worth a thousand words, this is worth a lot more than that. We thought it was cool to have baby photos when I was a kid. Now you're gonna have recreated 3D splats of yourself. I love the splat though, look. The floor of the plane, the seats of the plane, the texture on my shirt, even my beard hairs, and then of course this person back behind me, you're the best. Let's go to Cannon Beach on the Oregon coast. This one was another selfie, taken at about this angle. If you've never been to Cannon Beach in Oregon, you have got to check it out. 
And then look at this. It's got my crow's feet here. My wife looks stunning as usual. I'm actually kind of sitting here just in awe. You really need to try this out for yourself. It's actually a pretty emotional experience. Let's actually grab this one, which is the window from my hotel room. We've got the Vision Pro on the table. We've got our MacBook. We've got the magazine here. And you can see the depth of this goes all the way on, all the way down the strip. It's all amazing. Let's do this one because this is a fun one. This was one of our very first Vision Pro meetups in San Jose. If any of these fine people are watching this video and you see yourself here, shout out to you. Amazing people building things for Vision Pro and for Vision OS. You can see the glasses, the phone, the menus, all of this in 3D, all the way down the table, all the way to that back wall. Oh, and there's my buddy back over there, so what's up, man? Now that you've seen most of these splats, let's go back up to my hotel room, and I'll snap a couple photos on my way up there, and we'll turn those into some splats. Let's go ahead and get a photo of this. We're gonna take a photo by just clicking both buttons on the top of the Vision Pro. That's a good angle. All right, so here's the photo we just captured. We'll turn that into a splat. Let's grab a photo of this one right here, and then we'll snag a photo of this one right here. Now it's time to process those images that we just captured. So let's get the one of the car, and let's have that one run. This is what the app looks like when it's processing your Gaussian splat, and just like that, it's done. All right, and here it is. Wow, 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 wow. Isn't that sick? Just a second ago, this was downstairs and now it's in my room. And even though this photo was taken at night, it looks like it processed it pretty well. Let's choose our Derby Deluxe photo and we're gonna let that generate. On the Vision Pro, these seem to take about 10 to 15 seconds, maybe not even that long. And here's this one. There was a lot going on inside of this photo, so I'm really curious to see how well it processes it. It appears to have processed pretty darn well. As I can see on that end of the table, there's some weird stuff happening over there. But the slot machines, those appear pretty good. Let's open up our final photo. Here's the photo that we took. Here's the 3D splat. I am super impressed. And that right there is Splat Studio. Let's go ahead and leave it a review. I'm gonna go ahead and give it five stars because I know there are a lot of people out there that were hoping to have something exactly like this for their Vision Pro. I did notice that sometimes the Splat would not open or the Splat would not close. When that happened, I just force quit the app. Beyond those bugs, I'm really happy that this app exists. As I said earlier in the video, it's a free app and it's available on the App Store today. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll like this one as well. Thank you so much for your support, and until next time, stay spatial.